today is our first video on first course our first course is vector analysis in vector analysis we will study both vector algebra and vector calculus my name is Majid Ali before going to start the definition of vector first we have to know about the importance of the vectors what is the vector what is the importance of the vector? Vector is very important in mathematics, quantum mechanics, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, civil engineering, and in all the engineering. Physical quantities Physical quantities are those quantities which can be measured by the humans. There are two types of the physical quantities. One is the scalar quantities. Second is the vector quantities. Now, let us check one by one these definitions. What is scalar quantities and what is vector quantities? Here is the definition of scalar quantities. Scalar quantities are those quantities which is specified by magnitude, length, or norm. Is called scalar scale. Uh, what? is the meaning of uh, magnitude in the definition of vector we describe what is magnitude in later on in, in this video here is the example of the scalar quantity speed speed is also a scalar quantities can be measured in meter per second distance is also a scalar quantity measured in length work done is also a scalar quantity here is the definition of vector a physical quantities which are specified by magnitude direction it also obey the law of parallelogram is called the vector here is the example of the vectors force velocity acceleration momentum and we are, you are see, watching that uh, here is a we restricted some things that one is the magnitude second is the direction third is the law of parallelogram what do you mean by these value these terms and next we will see that what is the meaning of magnitude direction and law of parallelogram here is the representation of vector that how can we, we represent it the vectors there are two ways of representation of the vector first is analytical representation second is the geometrical representation what is the analytical representation analytical representation represented by two ways in handwritten form in handwritten form we can be represented vector as by putting the arrow on a letter or below the letter in computers we represented the vector analytically by bold face or italic form geometrically we represented the vector by a arrowhead where the vector starts its name is tail or initial point and where the vector ends its name is head or terminal point o is known as the tail and p is known as the head of the vector and this one is the op vector and op vector named as r vector for every vector quantity we have to check out these four values that these four values are present in this then we can say that this quantity is the vector quantity in other form we can say that this is the this is the criteria for the uh, checking the either the quantity is scalar or vector first is the magnitude second is direction third is sense fourth is law of parallelogram now check these terms one by one in detail first is magnitude magnitude can be defined the distance between the tail or initial point and the speed or terminal point is called the length norm or the magnitude of the vector magnitude of the vector can be determined by the formula r is equal to x square plus y square plus z square the magnitude of the vector always be positive and uh, the real value